Hello, Central Elementary. Today's book is an Explore My World National Geographic Kids book on ducklings. The words are by Marty Ferguson Delano. The baby duck. Now there's two. It's a wood duck. In early spring, she flies through a tangle of branches and lands by a hole high up in a tree. What's in the hole? Her nest. What's in the nest? Her eggs. Day and night, the mother duck sits on the eggs to keep them warm. Inside the eggs, baby ducks are growing. After about 30 days, peck, 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 the baby ducks are ready to hatch. Crack. The baby ducks tap and peck and push their way out of their shells. They are wet and sticky and tired. Hatching is hard work. And they are all coming out of their shell. The next morning, the mother duck leaves the nest and swims in a lake below the tree. She softly calls to her ducklings, Ooh-wee, ooh-wee. Tweet, tweet, the fuzzy little ducklings cheep. They want to be with their mother, but they can't fly yet. So they climb to the edge of the hole in the tree and... Jump! One by one, the ducklings leap from the tree. Down they go, tumbling and turning. Splash! My goodness, hope they don't get hurt. The ducklings start swimming right away. They follow their mother. Wherever she swims, they swim. Wherever she waddles, they waddle. Wherever she sits, they sit. And wherever she sleeps, they sleep. Yum! When the ducklings get hungry, they dip their heads into the water and scoop up plants and bugs and other small animals in their beaks. The ducklings grow up fast. When they are about two months old, they grow a new set of feathers. And with these new feathers, they learn to fly. Now the ducklings are on their own, no more following mom. The ducklings keep growing and changing. By the summer's end, the males, those are the boys, are colorful as box of crayons. And the females, the girls, look like their mother. When the weather turns cold in the fall, the young wood ducks fly to a warmer place to spend the winter. When the spring comes, a male wood duck and a female wood duck will fly to the lake together. The female will lay her eggs in a tree hole nearby. Follow me! And one fine morning, the new mother duck will call for her ducklings to leave the nest and join her. Ooh, 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 ee. ooh, 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 ee. Excellent animals. Ducklings, ostrich chicks, owlets, and other baby birds all hatch from eggs laid by their mothers. But they aren't the only baby animals that come out of a shell. Here are some other egg samples. A caterpillar, a lizard, a grasshopper, a corn snake, an alligator, tadpoles, a sea turtle, ducky details. Wood ducks are built for climbing, perching, eating, walking, swimming, floating, and flying. Here are some of the features that help them do these things and more. 
wide, flat beak for scooping up food. Now our other book called that a bill. Hmm, which one is right? We're going to have to look that up. Sharp claws on toes for climbing and perching on branches. Webbed feet are perfect for swimming, floating, and walking. Waterproof feathers keep ducks dry. How do you keep dry? How many different colors can you count on the male duck? How many on the female duck? Underneath their outer feathers, grown-up ducks have a layer of soft feathers called down. Ducklings are covered with down when they hatch. It helps keep them warm. How do you keep warm? A wide rectangle tail, rectangular tail helps wood ducks balance on the tree branches. Let's be ducklings. Curl up in an egg shape. Curl, curl, curl. Peck out of your shell. Peck, peck, peck. Shake out your feathers. Shake, shake, shake. Jump from the nest. Ready, set, wee. Splash down in the water. Splash, splash, splash. Swim in the water, paddle, paddle, paddle. Go for a walk, waddle, waddle, waddle. Spread your little wings, flap, flap, flap. The end. All about ducklings.